everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Claire if you're new here. If you're coming over from Sharon's video, then yeah, hello and welcome. And I hope you like my content enough to hang around and stay. Sharon and myself decided to do a sunset themed ocean collaboration. So I got to work. I'm using the same pigments as Sharon. Sharon always uses color, well, often uses color cottage pigments and I just love them so much. So I had to go get me some. And this is my contribution to the collaboration. It is a sunset resin ocean with some glittery gold sand and a seashell that I made a couple of months back. Did my waves go right? No, they didn't go as I wanted them to go. And I think I struggle on smaller canvases. I, I prefer doing waves on a much bigger scale. Sometimes they go well, sometimes they just don't go well at all. But I still love it enough to keep it. I outlined the whole thing with black because I just felt like it gave it that real art block colour thing. Don't know what I'm talking about, but it's alright. Anyway, this is what I made and I really hope you love the video. Sharon, cannot wait to see yours. And yeah, anyone who's watching mine, make sure you head over to Sharon's now and watch hers. And to anyone who came over from Sharon's, thank you. I'm going to stop talking and I'll see you in the video. Bye. My canvas today is going to be this MDF star. I almost wish it was half as deep because I just feel like this is a bit deep. The three colours I am using are from Colour Cottage and I'm going with the sunset colours. I'm going with the orange, sunset orange. I'm going with this grape, groovy grape and dandelion yellow. So excited to open these. But yeah, gorgeous three colours here. For my waves, I'm using what I always use. So I'll use a dash of the Resinate Opaque with one drop of the alcohol ink. First things first, I need to prime this board. Now this is MDF, so we know MDF soaks up everything really, really, really quickly. You don't want resin to get on this. I'm going to give it two coats of gesso. So that's what I'm going to do first. Literally coat the whole thing. Then I'm going to tape the back and yeah, start by ocean. the star a base coat of the colors that I want to use the reason for this is if there's any transparency in those pigments you won't just see a white star underneath
enjoyed watching that process. I definitely um, would do things differently next time, go easier on the waves. You can see some of the wave detail is pretty. I did get some lace in, but I really do prefer a solid white line and tons of lace in. And that's what I'm used to. And when I can't get it, I get frustrated, but it was fine. Painting the sides black was not part of the original plan, but I, I think it just makes the whole piece pop and I love it. So this is going to live quite happily in my bathroom. And um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Head on over now to see Sharon's if you haven't already. And again, if you came over from Sharon's, super appreciate it. And thank you all so much. Sharon, thanks for the collab. And I hope you love my piece as much as I know I'm going to love yours. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.